welcome you once again in this uh, session where we are going to discuss about uh, the dry dehiscent fruits. We have previously talked about uh, the different groups of uh, fruits. We saw that we have the simple fruits, we have the aggregate fruits and we have the multiple fruits. And uh, now we are trying to look at the simple fruits, which we say that uh, they are subdivided into three groups where we have the dry indehiscent fruits and the dry dehiscent fruits and the saccharine. We have discussed about the dry indehiscent fruits and now we are going to discuss about the dry dehiscent fruits. Uh, the dry dehiscent fruits, these are fruits uh, whose pale cup spreads open to set the seeds free, meaning that um, the pale cup, which is the outside covering, opens up and spreads up and opens when it opens it allows the seeds to flow out these are the dry dehiscent fruits and we're just going to see some of the dry dehiscent fruits which split up to release the their seeds and one of the types of the dry dehiscent fruits is the follicle the follicle is a dry fruit formed from one couple and it spreads down one side only it's just spreads down one side only and uh, an example that we can give for this type of fruit is the southern apple fruit the southern apple fruit uh, spreads up in uh, one side only and uh, it releases the seeds we have seen that it is formed from one couple then we have another type of uh, dry dehiscent fruit which is the regumes and the dry fruit formed of one capel those are the regumes and split down both sides when they're splitting up they split down both sides and examples that we have in the legume type of dry dehiscent fruits are the beans when you look at the beans, they will split down both sides and release the seeds. Those are the legumes, which are also part of the dry dehiscent fruits. Then we have uh, the uh, capsules. Uh, capsules. Capsules. Capsules are dry fruits formed from uh, two or more couples, and um, they contain many seeds. Uh, they open by longitudinal slit. They will open by longitudinal slits. And examples that we can give here uh, is cotton. Cotton is a capsule and it is a dry dehiscent fruit which uh, is formed of two or more couples and uh, it contains many seeds and they open up by a long slit. Um, another one which is uh, the last that we are going to talk about in the dry dehiscent fruit is the schizocarp. Schizocarp are dry several seeded fruits uh, which break into several separate parts. They, are, they break into several separate parts but each part with one seed. You'll find that uh, it is uh, one package, but uh, these packages breaks up into several separate parts, and each part has one seed. The example of scissor cups we have the desmodium. Desmodium is the one of the scissor cups, and it is a dry dehiscent fruit. We have seen that the dry dehiscent fruits are those fruits whose pelicap spreads open to set the seeds free. And we have given uh, four examples. We have looked at the folico, which is made from one couple, and it spreads uh, down one side. And we gave an example of the Sodom apple. We talked of uh, the legume, which are dry fruit formed from one couple. And uh, for them, they spread down both sides. 
and then we talked also about the uh, capsules which are the dry fruit formed from two or more couples and uh, we gave examples of cotton and they uh, contain many seeds and they open by longitudinal slits and lastly we talked about the zizo cup which is a dry several seeded fruits that uh, break up into several separate parts and each part has got its own seed or one seed and we gave an example of the smodium so next time when we come back we would like to look at the succulent fruits we are going to look at the succulent fruits please thank you for staying with us please continue staying with us